It's the VC Show. What's up? I'm Vince Carter, and my podcast, The VC Show, is coming back. Season two of The VC Show is going to be bigger and better than ever. Every week during the NBA season, I'll give you my real insights and opinions on the league. Vince Sanity reigns supreme. Subscribe to the pod and listen to The VC Show with me, Vince Carter, on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, it's The VC Show. Hey, I'm Melissa Fumero. And I'm Stephanie Beatriz. You may know us from television. Nine, nine. And now we're here with our very own podcast, More Better with Stephanie and Melissa. Join us as we take on topics like listening to yourself, the challenge of self-care, and making friends as an adult. We're going to share our struggles. We're going to speak to experts. And we're going to share everything we learn with you. Listen to More Better with Stephanie and Melissa on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, I'm Rachel Martin. You probably know how interview podcasts with famous people usually go, right? There's a host, a guest, and a light Q&A. On NPR's new podcast, Wild Card, we have ripped up the typical script. It's part existential deep dive and part game show. I ask actors, artists, and comedians to play a game using a special deck of cards to ask some of life's biggest questions. Listen to NPR's Wild Card on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to The Fifth Thing. I'm Amy. And I'm Kat. Except for she's not Therapy Cat. She is Cryo Cat because Therapy Cat is on her honeymoon. Whoop, whoop. She got married this last weekend and we're so excited and happy for her and Big P. So she is going to be away from The Fifth Thing for the next two weeks and then she'll be back. I thought Chase might be filling in, which TBD, people have been asking for Chase. <gasps> but don't worry, Cryo Cat. You've been on before too and People have been asking for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's been almost a year probably since I've made an appearance. Really? Yeah, because the live was the last, I think, little clip. It, we might have done one episode after your live show We did the about live mushrooms. In Nashville? Oh, yeah, adaptogens. Adaptogens, yeah. Not like mushrooms, like the... Not psychedelics. Exactly. Or the kind you saute over steak. Right, love <laughs> those too. We did the Alpha 10 bars. Yes. Shout out. Which... How I know about the Alpha Tim bars and I even started eating them was because Kat was dating the guy that started making them. And she was his biggest cheerleader, like helped Mm -hmm. get it all started. And she, if she is supporting you, I will tell you this, like Kat will scream from the rooftops about what you have going on. Mm -hmm. And she was telling everybody about these Alpha Tim bars. And at the live, we actually had them in the VIP goodie bags. And they're so good. I have one every morning, a mini at least. Sometimes I would have a full size, but the minis were perfect just Mm -hmm. as a snack at work. Just to coat your stomach real quick. Yeah. They're so good. So my point being, I was eating them all last year and some into this year. And then Kat got into a little fight with this person. They are broken up by the way, but y'all were having a disagreement about something. And I understood why. And I wanted to support you. Yeah. Just like you support people. And I had your back. So then I was out of Alpha 10 bars and I didn't want to place an order because I thought, well, I got a standby cat. Mm-hmm. And you found these other bars, we're not going to say the brand, that you wanted to order. And so I thought, okay, well, I'll order those two. So Cat ordered three flavors and I ordered three flavors. And that way we could swap and test out all the flavors. And I am trying to make my way through them, but I am not loving them. But I'm going to try to finish them. But guess what happened today, guys? Guys. Guess what happened? Breaking news. <laughs> As of yesterday, we are back in good graces. So now we can buy Alpha 10 bars again, except for I don't want to waste the ones that we bought. I don't know. Maybe my kids will like them. <laughs> we'll Fingers see. crossed. And since we're talking about it, people might want to try. And Alpha 10 is T-E-N-N because this is Tennessee is where it's founded. So alpha10.com or alpha10bar.com will get you there. And then does your code still work? Yeah. Which y'all made yeah. up? K-A-T-1-0. So CAT10. And you know, a lot of times when people have a code, they'll get a little kickback or something because they're supporting. Kat's just straight up got a code so she can give people a discount. So there you go, CAT10. K-A-T-1-0. Okay, well, it's quote time. Enough about alpha 10. Cryocat's bringing it to us today because she is the queen of quotes. What is it? 
Okay, so the last quote that I took a screenshot of says, dang girl, are you a fitted sheet? Because you are complicated and hard to manage. <laughs> which yes, I, I feel am. like a, a fitted sheet sometimes, which in getting to know you, are you have some OCD about you at times, mm -hmm. but maybe that's just with your schedule, but do you fold a fitted sheet and take the time to do it right? Or do you just wad it in a ball? I'm somewhere in the middle. I give effort and then it just kind of goes doot, doot, doot. Yeah, I know. I don't understand the people, which my sister is one of them, that fold a fitted sheet perfectly. But I think it's amazing. It's a talent. It's a skill, one that I do not have. So next time you and Alpha Timboy, mm -hmm. Brett, are in a fight, I have some things maybe you can say that'll help you feel understood. Okay. Because I wanted to talk about feeling misunderstood because I had a conversation the other day where I wasn't being heard. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, you have to co-parent. How does that go? Like, are those conversations good? They don't happen. Okay, so phone calls don't happen. What about- Phone calls don't happen. Texts, texts. are very minimal because he's at the age where I can just text him and be like, hey, what's our plan? Your he, son's at he, the age? Yes. Oh, it sounded like you were saying um, my, my son's father is now at the age, age where I can just text him. No, he hasn't matured to that level yet, but I can text <laughs> the kid. <laughs> okay. Well- I was feeling misunderstood the other day. So I started doing a little research about helpful things you can say if you're not feeling heard. And that way you have a more constructive conversation. And so I'm going to read these out and you see if you- I will digest them. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can start using them with Brett or whomever in your life. All of my ex-lovers. <laughs> You've told me before sometimes if someone's not really hearing you, you just talk louder, <laughs> mm -hmm. which that may work too. But in case anybody else needs this for constructive conversations, here you go. Instead of just flat out saying you're misunderstanding me, you can say this. I'm feeling misunderstood. Can I start over and express this in a different way? I like it. Okay. This could also work at work. In the office. Yeah. yeah. Conversations with employees. Say this. Let's slow down for a minute. Can you clarify what you're hearing from me so that I know if I need to explain it differently? That is nice. Instead of, that has nothing to do with this, say this. It seems like we're mixing up situations. Let's take a step back and just focus on this particular issue. I don't know that I see that one going very well. Because yeah. I feel like you could say that with a little bit of sass. sass yeah. Instead of, you're only choosing to hear the negative. You can say this. I want this conversation to be productive. Let's take 10 minutes and come back when we're both feeling less defensive. Circle back. Circle back. I do the pause. I do that in certain relationships, but I also do that with my kids because I think there's sometimes where they need a break or I need a break and it could escalate quickly. And as a mom, I think it's really good to use those pause breaks because you can totally reset and then things don't escalate because I feel like sometimes shift the kids, energy yeah it can get out of hand pretty quickly or you end up just screaming and being frustrated and then regretting it and this way you can pause and say hey you know what let's take a break and my son is doing really well with it he's 13 now and sometimes he'll look at me and say mom I need a break and then I'm like well, look at you I'm very impressed by that so Hopefully, I can make sure I'm doing that when I need to. Jet's always done that. He's like, I need my alone time. Oh, Jet's yeah. your son. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He's he. So he's nine aware, years like, old. But I feel like even when he was six, he's like, I need some alone time. <laughs> let, me, let me take a break from this. <laughs> so he learned that early on. Yes. But um, I just ask people, does this make sense? Do I make sense? Do you do that? I think that I do, but then I've also heard that sometimes if you're doubting that you're making sense and you ask that in a way, but this might be like Ooh. way too deep and not a big deal. But I think sometimes we say like, oh, like, does that make sense? Because we think we're not capable of mm -hmm, making sense. Mm -hmm. Like we think something's wrong with us. Like mm -hmm. I'm not making sense or this probably doesn't really make sense. Or does that make sense? There is some energy to that that I've heard before that like your brain can think that you don't know what you're talking about. That makes sense. Does it? It does. So <laughs> there you go. So now you have these these other things you can say instead of, yeah. does that make sense? Because I think sometimes we'll say that quickly. We don't even get give someone an opportunity to respond. We'll be explaining something and then we'll just go ahead and say like, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like that's already projecting doubt when we might have right. made 
perfect sense because obviously we always do. <laughs> yeah, I could never be wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. Sometimes I definitely don't make sense, but that's okay. If I'm feeling misunderstood, now I have tools and I know what I'm going to say because I researched it. What's the last thing you researched? Cocaine Princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's the show we're about to watch, which it's actually Cocaine Queen. The, yeah, the Cocaine Queen or the Cocaine Queen pen or something. So it's on Netflix, and these are the real documentaries about the popular Netflix show that is scripted, and there's actors. Sofia Vergara is playing the Griselda Blanco. Queen. Yeah, Griselda Blanco is the name of the show, and heads up, it's subtitles. So but, focus. Yeah, so you got to be able to focus when you're watching that. But the documentary, I'm very excited to watch that and then to circle back to and then watch the, the scripted because mm -hmm. I feel like we'll know more. Yeah. yeah, I'm almost finished with the, the Netflix, but it'll be good to go take a pause, watch the doc, go back. I've been doing Fargo, which is another great show. Bobby was really into Fargo season five. I've already watched that, and now I've started Fargo season two. They're really good. I never would have watched Fargo, but don't sleep on it. Okay. It's shockingly amazing. What's it about? Each season is different. They're not tied to each other, so you can watch it out of order. Mm -hmm. That's why I watched five. There's always a like a crime, but then some weird sci-fi stuff like mixed in. Well, at least in season five, it, it felt that way. Season two so far, I'm just feeling crime. Okay. But there's always a mystery. Some drug lords. Bad stuff's happening. Well, I don't know. It's more like season two, there's kind of a mob situation, like Kansas City mob, oh. and it takes place in the 70s or something. Anyway, I'm not, I'm only a few episodes into it, so TBD on that, but I Googled the order in which, like, the best Fargo seasons, so y'all can research that for yourselves if you want to, but we're going to go watch Cocaine Queen and eat our food, which Kat and I are very into ground beef, by the way. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some beef tonight, and I don't know why, but Kat got me obsessed with it, and basically I want to put ground beef on everything. We put it on top of pizza, flatbreads, we just eat a plain, we put it in queso, Nachos. On top of rice, I did Ooh, ground yeah. beef with jasmine rice and then just some coconut aminos, which tastes sort of like soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And it was so tasty. It was perfect. Yeah. It was the easiest meal ever. It's such an easy fix, especially like I'm not going to go grill something, but I can do that with the meat. Is it a meat smasher? I can do it with a meat smasher on the skillet, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got a meat masher smasher thing mm -hmm. on Amazon. It's for ground meat and it helps just mash it up out of the package a lot. Mm -hmm faster. Yeah. So there you go. All right. Well, we hope y'all are having the day that you need to have. And I would tell you where you could find CryoCat, but she doesn't have Instagram. So you can find her here. In real life. <laughs> you IRL. Her, you can find her at my house a lot, eating ground beef mm -hmm. and I'm watching Netflix and also eating Alpha Tin bars again. Yep. Although I just learned she never quit. So there you go. Bye. See you next Tuesday. What's up? I'm Vince Carter, and my podcast, The VC Show, is coming back. Season two of The VC Show is going to be bigger and better than ever. Every week during the NBA season, I'll give you my real insights and opinions on the league. Vince Sanity reigns supreme. Subscribe to the pod and listen to The VC Show with me, Vince Carter, on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, what's that show? It's The VC Show. Hey, more, 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 better. Hey, I'm Melissa Fumero. And I'm Stephanie Beatriz. You may know us from television. Nine, nine. And now we're here with our very own podcast, More Better with Stephanie and Melissa. Join us as we take on topics like listening to yourself, the challenge of self-care, and making friends as an adult. We're going to share our struggles. We're going to speak to experts. And we're going to share everything we learn with you. Listen to More Better with Stephanie and Melissa on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, I'm Rachel Martin. You probably know how interview podcasts with famous people usually go, right? There's a host, a guest, and a light Q&A. On NPR's new podcast, Wild Card, we have ripped up the typical script. It's part existential deep dive and part game show. I ask actors, artists, and comedians to play a game using a special deck of cards to ask some of life's biggest questions. Listen to NPR's Wild Card on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts.